Hey guys, welcome back to another Clash Royale video, and today we're taking a look at a really interesting off-meta hog cycle deck. Right here is a 3.0 average deck here, fast cycle hog rider deck with the Ice Wizard NATO, Earthquake, E-Dragon, and the Tombstone in there as well. Really defensive strategy. For the most part, you want to focus on playing pure defense, getting a bit of chip damage done over time with your Hog Riders and your Earthquakes. I've been seeing this deck pop up a little bit in the CRL Competitive League, so I thought I would try it out in a video and see what you guys thought of it. It reminds me a lot of the old meta Hog decks that were ran by a player by the name of Pong TV. If you guys remember, back in the day, he ran like a very similar Hog Rider, Ice Wizard, Tombstone, NATO deck. Although, obviously, this one has been updated for the current meta. But, uh, yeah, I've seen it played a couple of times now in the CRL League. And I figured, let's go ahead, try it out, see how we do in a video. It's a very fun deck, fast-paced deck to play. And, uh, honestly, off-meta, right? A bit of off-meta, which I think is really good right now to kind of have a bit of off-meta-ness. Yes, King Tower, activate. Oh no, it's 2.6 Hog Cycle. Right? Isn't it 2.6 Hog Cycle? Supposedly it is. Supposedly. I've been having some issue lately with my cards dropping. It just seems to like, I don't even know. The game legit can't even make up its mind. It's like card drop or card not drop. You know what I'm saying? Earthquake, cannon here. Yes, go Hog Rider, get one. Nope, he locks it as well, okay. This guy's crazy. He's crazy, man. So we're gonna go Barbell for this. He's gonna go Hog in the middle, or in front of his Mexican Mex T right here. Barrel right here. He goes back, Skeleton's here. Hog should die. Apparently not, because I'm a nub. But we're going to go Hog Rider here. Once again, Earthquake here. Oh, he misses it. Poor dude. Cannon goes down to my Earthquake. The Hog Rider destroys the tower. Skeleton's getting there, guys. Skeleton's doing insane damage. The tower will go down all the way to 716 health. Poor dude, July the 2nd. My dear friend, July 1st is way better. That's why you're losing. Sorry to say. But it's the truth. And the truth hurts sometimes. One more hoggy, sir. Please tell me. Please direct me to your cannon. There it is. Let me just drop a little bit of an earthquake right here, and we'll get one hog shot. And kaboom! There we go. Uh, I kind of feel bad for this guy right now, but not really because we're winning. Are you supposed to be here? All we need is one more. One of these. This here. Poor dude. Middle that back. <laughs> hey now. Guys, Hog Rider is legit broken. He needs a nerf. Somebody nerf Hog Rider, please. Look how big the Earthquake is, guys. The Earthquake is legit massive. And now he can't even push into this lane. So we have an E-Dragon there, plus an Ice Wizard. And our friend, Jalad Second. He's uh he's not having a good day, man. <laughs> good game. <laughs> you know, let's just dab. Let's just dab right now. There is the dab. There we go. Gotta dab one more time, guys. July second, guys. Unfortunately, <laughs> not having a good day today, is he? Sorry, dude. But uh, I'll take your trophies and I will appreciate them at least. Paulo, good luck to you, sir. So. We beat the meta hog deck. It's a battle of the hog riders. We beat... Oh, no. Please don't be ice bow. Just don't be any... Oh. Where's my eye roll? It's not eye roll. Right here. There we go. I had that one, too. I told you, stupid expo. I knew it was, guys. I knew it was. Yes, there we go. Nice, we good. We good, baby. Stupid Expo, man. Stupid Expo. <laughs> Sorry, guys. The only card, the only card in Clash Rail that triggers me 
is Expo. Legitimately the only one. Hey, sir. Uh, don't you think that's a bit uncalled for? Don't you think it's a bit uncalled for? With your little, uh... What should we call it? Now, here's the thing, guys. Earthquake normally destroys Expo, but his Rascals give him a really big advantage in this battle. Those Rascals are going to be super annoying here. Here. Nice. There we go. Misses the Hog Run. I'm okay with that. One Hog Shot. Almost one more. Logs that back, though. So Earthquake normally destroys the Expo, but with his Rascals being in there, the Earthquake does not kill the Rascal Girls. So I don't have a spell to support my Hog Rider on offense because the Bart Barrel does not reach. That is the kind of main kind of like issue that I'm kind of thinking we're going to have in this particular battle right now. One of these. Nice. Yes, there we go. One hog shot. Like I said, guys, you want that chip damage adding up over time. Is the main plan. I'm actually going to ignore the expo for now there. Like this. There we go. Wait for it, baby. This here, this here. Earthquake here. Oh, we get the expo down. Two extra value sauce, guys, with this. Let's go up bats as well, dude. Your deck is disgusting, man. Dirty deck. New episode of the Dirty Deck series right here, coming soon. Look at it. Poor dude. Poor dude. This here, this here. What? I, 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 what? What was that? I don't know. Somebody tell me. What was that? That was weird, guys. That was weird indeed. Earthquake that. Nice. Here we go. Skeleton's here. E-Dragon, please. Thank you, sir. For our Bale Hog Rider. Earthquake. Come on. Yes. One Hog Shot, please. There we go. One more. One more. Yes. That's all I needed, dude. That's all I needed. You're making me very happy right now. Now I got to Earthquake this. Now it's making me sad. There we go, dude. I'm okay with that, Jazz. Wait for it. This here. This here. This here. This here. This here. This dude is very aggressive. Apollo? Who taught you to be so aggressive, my dude? Just chill, buddy. Just chill, please. Just chill. Okay. I'm okay with that. He knows we're getting set up for another hog push here. This here. This here. And this here. Yes. All we need is one more. Uh, two more earthquakes, actually. I lied. I don't like lying to you guys, but I did. And I apologize. This here. This here. This here. This here. Come on. Baby, let's go. I'm going to go one more, probably, uh, Hog Rider here, right lane. Like this. With the Earthquake here. Oh, buddy. Yes. Alright, you know what we need, guys. You know what we need right now. We need one more Earthquake. And we need some BM. We need a little bit of BM. We need a little bit of BM. <laughs> oh, my poor dude. I'm so sorry. Watch me just lose right now. All right, let's 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 play. Let's play. Let's play. <laughs> oh my goodness, Apollo. I'm sorry, but uh, it's. I've said it before, and I'll say it again, guys. It is written in the Clash Royale terms of service that you have to BM Expo users. It's right there, in writing. So you have to do it. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. No, it's not. But make sure you do it, okay? Make sure you do it. I'm just kidding, guys. But actually not. Alrighty, guys. Enough. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait. How's the gameplay looking? Good? Okay. 
scratch the nostril. My nostril itches a lot. I don't even know why. Anyways, not that you guys care. So we're gonna go ahead here, jump into one. It's itchy again, man. There we go. One more battle here. So we're two for two so far. But what do we do so far? Can't you choose? Can't you choose? Is it 2.6 hog again? Is it really? <laughs> uh, it, it's either that or it's um, Expo again. Nice. Yeah, it's one hog shot. Nice, baby. Nice. I'm okay with that. So, Nato the King Tower. Activate that jazz. Skeleton's here. Okay. So, King Tower activated. Mission one successful. Mission two is win. And I, I don't know how I feel about winning so far. Gonna be a little bit of an interesting one today. Hey, sir, don't log that. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. One of these, one of these. Go, Barb. Go. Nice. Hog three shots. Ah, oh, nub. What a nubby hog, guys. I said three shots. He got two. Somebody please fire the hog rider. For being official nub sauce. This guy is very aggressive with his spells. And I gotta be honest with you. I kind of... What is going on with this game? That would have been perfect. That would have been perfect, man. I would have just went Bar Barrel, Hog Rider. Oh my goodness, now we're gonna lose. I don't even get this game anymore, man. What's, why does it do that? Somebody please tell me. Somebody please tell me. Why? <laughs> I just want to know. I just want to know why it happens. I don't get it, man. I don't get it, man. Nice! Go, Hog Rider, go! Yes! One more shot, Hog Rider! Oh, one more! Oh, you're a beast! You're a beast! <laughs> you're so beasty! Oh, poor dude! Get absolutely clapped, please! Oh, man. One Hog Shot. Oh, no, he logs. Wait for it, dude. He's here. He's here. He's here. And then this here. Good game. Wow. The the roller coaster of emotions there, guys. The roller coaster of emotions. From winning to losing to, to raging to winning. I'm I don't, I'm sorry guys, but uh why does that happen? I don't even know. It's been happening like... Like it's it's weird because it just happens randomly. Once every couple of battles. But I, I, I'm pretty sure my internet's fine. Because I can, I can live stream for hours and have no issues with the live stream at all. But I'll have issues with the game. Which is weird because I'm like... If I'm live streaming, my internet is, is working, right? Anyways. Good game, bro. Good game, broski. So we are a new... Is that season highest? That is season highest with this deck. Nice. Activity log. Three cycle decks in a row, man. What are the odds of that, dude? Hog cycle, expo, and hog cycle. Wow. Alrighty, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and do one more battle. I guess Mr. Spike. Mr. Spikey DK. What is that sign for? Actually, I don't want to know. Forget I asked. Sir? Mr. Spikey? Mr. Spikey. Let's just go Ice Wizard. I'm gonna go like this. I have this one, you have that one? <gasps> Ooh, that is a bandit. Ho ho ho. Barbell here. Ooh, a uh, snowball. Huh. If I go Hog Rider here, does it go Pekka? Oh, he goes Barbell! 
And then he goes Pekka. Mega Knight? No! Not the Mega Knight, please! I'm sorry, Spikey. Mr. Spikey, I'm sorry. Please. Please forgive me, Spikey. I'm sorry, Spikey. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. No! This deck gets absolutely clapped by Mega Knight. You have nothing to stop the Mega Knight. That's, that's the one thing I've noticed with this deck. Is you have no Mega Knight stopper. Nothing. Nothing for Mega Knight. Like, literally, how do you stop Mega Knight with this deck? That's the problem. I guess you gotta use Hog Rider. But the problem is, is they can just... They'll always just go Mega Knight for your Hog Rider on, on defense. And then you're stuck dealing with the Mega Knight and the counter push. Like, this is... This deck does lose to Mega Knight. That's just the way it is. It's the way that it, that, that the deck was designed. It was just designed to lose to Mega Knight. At least that's the way I think it is. What? There's no way. I was going to say, you better not lose to that battle. Hey, now. Name Earthquake, your Mega Knight? Where's your Mega Knight? Yep, there it is. There it is. We got one... Two shots? Nice, 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 nice. Oh, it's a Ram Rider. No, 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 no. Ah, pull that over. But you weren't expecting that, were you, Spikey? Huh? You didn't think I had it in me, did you? Well, shame on you, buddy. Hog Rider. Earthquake. Nato's back. Ah, he snowballs. The bandit just destroys. Oh no, guys, we're losing. We're this is this the ship is sinking. Red alert. We're losing fast. One la no, don't go Ram Rider to defend. Spiky? What a call for. We told you to do that. Yeah, well, did you know I got this? Come on now, guys. There's, there's no way. That's not the hardest counter of... Alright, alright. I agree with you guys. Every time I lose, it's a hard counter. That's what I say. And 80% of the time, I'm just I'm just making things up. Okay, I'll be honest with that. But that right there, my dear friends, was the hardest counter in Clash Royale history. Ram Rider to stop the uh, Hog Rider. He didn't even have a building that we could use the Earthquake for. And then he had Mega Knight. We had nothing to stop Mega Knight. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> GG's though, man. GG's. Oh, man. This deck. Oh, it's so much fun to use, man. The Earthquake. People just don't expect it, you know? People are so used to relying on their buildings to stop your Hog Rider. Then you just hit them with the Wabam Earthquake in your face. And they don't know what to do. You just destroy them and it works, man. I love it. Alrighty, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we shall go ahead and finish the video off with... Two replays, guys. <laughs> How many of you thought the video froze for a second there? Huh? I I tricked you. Ha ha ha. Anyways, let's get back to uh, normality here. I'm gonna go uh, Hog Rider in front of this... Never mind. We don't. We don't. We're facing off against the meta balloon deck. It's been uh, probably one of the top decks in the game for uh, a month and a half now, I'd say. About that. Um, but he's got uh, Minor Infernal Tower a Balloon Cycle. We're going to go E Dragon right lane. He's going to go Balloon left lane because he knows we have no air defense. Look at this. We Bar Barrel the Musketeer. We Ice Wizard the Miner. We Nadal the, the Jazz back. And then the Balloon dies to the Ice Wizard uh, Tower combo. So, uh,. Overall, like that, I'm pretty okay with that defense. Like I said in the intro, guys, this deck is super defensive. Unless they have a Mega Knight in their deck, it's super defensive. If they do have Mega Knight, it's just, just might as well just force quick Clash Royale. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Never give up. Never give up. You never know what can happen. Anyways, we're going to go uh, Tombstone here. I like using the Tombstone for a couple of reasons like that. Number one, I know he's got Infernal Tower. So if I can time my Hog Rider with some Skeleton Spawns, you can have the, the Tombstone initially target one of the Skeletons to uh, kind of delay the damage to your Hog Rider. If you time that out with your Earthquake, you can kill the Infernal Tower before your Hog Rider takes too much damage if the uh, Skeleton distracts for it. Also, one thing you can also do is, especially when the Tombstone dies, 
when you have those three skeletons spawn out, then go Hog Rider, because now you have three of them. And you can either do it two ways. If they have Inferno Tower, go Hog Like right now, would be a pretty good time to go Hog Rider. I don't know why I didn't. Um, but you can have like the three skeletons in front to distract the, the, the Inferno Tower, or if they don't have an Inferno Tower in their deck, then go Hog Rider in front. It'll tank for the skeletons, and sometimes one or two skeletons can get to their tower, and uh, they can do insane damage. Don't uh, don't discount the skeletons, guys. I don't even want to say it anymore. But anyways, Hog Rider here doing some work. Pulling us into the damage lead. 2,300 health on our tower. Pretty soon here, we're going to start busting out some insane Hog Rider Earthquake predicted plays, as you are about to see. So feast your eyes on some pro plays by your dear friend. Going to go uh, Barbell here for Musketeer. Skeletons as well. And I believe we actually go Natal here for that Balloonage. With an additional Ice Wizard here in the mixture. And I believe we actually go Hog Rider left lane. Earthquake for uh, nothing. Actually, the Earthquake kills the Skeletons and slows down the Barbarian. The Hog Rider does absolute work. Look at this. Just destroys that tower. Absolutely slaughters that tower, guys. And um, I guess I was wrong about those predicted plays anyways. Um, but regardless, one crown victory. Uh, and hopefully our friend up there gets some sleep. Because he, uh, he appeared to be a bit tired near the end. So hopefully he gets a nap. Because it looks like he could use it. Anyways, guys. Last replay over here. I know. I know. Um, but uh, some of you guys see you enjoy the replays. So I try and throw them in there for those of you that enjoy it. But, Mr. Chameleon here, uh, he's rocking a log bait deck. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and just destroy him, as you do. As you do versus any log bait. No, look, pause right here. This is important, okay? Oh, the earthquake defies space-time. Look at this. I paused, I froze in time. And the earthquake is still earthquaking. Wow. Anyways... When I saw Princess, I've only seen one card so far. I saw Princess. I knew there's a 90% chance he had a, a log bait deck. So I went Hog Rider, Predictive Earthquake. I used the Earthquake for the Goblin Gang. Because I had a good feeling he would go Goblin Gang on defense. And look what happens. He plays exactly into my plan. Earth, uh, Goblin Gang going down into my Earthquake. Goblin Gang gets destroyed. Log going down, we get some good Hog Rider damage done. Four shots in total from the Hog Rider. And now he does not have a log from a skeleton, so log can kill the, uh, the, the princess there. That predictive earthquake was so, uh, so dirty. And my voice just cracked, so hopefully no one noticed that. But, uh, y predictive earthquake, guys, was nasty. I don't even know how, like, what I was thinking, but I saw princess. I was like, I'm just gonna go Hog Rider here. Chances are he has Goblin Gang, and it worked out in our favor. What a beautiful play. That's what I meant in the in the previous replay when I said predictive plays, guys. That's what I meant right there. Now, going to go Idra in here. It might be tempting to go Earthquake. But you got to remember, the Earthquake does not destroy Princess or Rascal Girl. So, you can't use it for that, uh, for that purpose. Once again, Earthquake here for the Goblins. Basically, it's an equal Elixir Exchange, 3 for 3, Earthquake versus Goblins, but I get some insane damage done anyways. Like, one thing you can do with this deck, I would say, is be fairly aggressive with your Earthquakes and get that chip damage done over time on their tower. We're gonna go Barbell here for his Goblin Gang, Skeletons for his Dark Goblin with an Ice Wizard to top it off, and uh, I think, yeah, we, we ignore the Dark Goblin, he gets a bit of damage done. With that Dark Goblin going to go once again, Hog Rider, Predictive Earthquake, destroys Goblin Gang, one Hog Shot, one more Hog Shot, 500 health on his tower, Prince coming back right here. The Prince Dark Goblin is a bit nasty here. Do this, I go Bar Barrel for the Dark Goblin, NATO for the King Tower. That NATO would have been useful earlier, but we finally do it. 300 health on his tower, all we need is some Earthquake action to finish this tower off absolutely destroying so far and look at, this. <laughs> look at this i drop a predictive ice wizard i told you guys their predictions were insane and i did not lie look at this i knew he was gonna go princess 
I knew he was going princess, so I went Ice Wizard right as he went princess, distracted his princess, just 100% outplayed in this battle here, guys. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful. Barbell here for the uh, Dark Goblin and the uh, Prince. NATO for the Goblin Barrel. And uh, just, just a slaughter. Just an absolute slaughter right now. Uh, poor dude, Chameleon. Uh, good game. Well played. But the predictive Earthquake in the start. The predictive Ice Wizard for the Princess. Honestly, guys. I dare say. I might be the next up-and-coming CRL Pro. I'm not sure. But just a feeling. Just a feeling. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. I'm way too nub for that. Uh, but that was a good battle. That was a good battle. But anyways, guys, that is the end of the video. Here is the deck. One more time if you want to go ahead and try it out yourself. Hog Earthquake Defense Cycle deck. Like I said, I've seen it being played in CRL a little bit. And it caught my eye. And I had to try it out in a video. It's basically a kind of like reinvented version of the Pong TV Hog decks from back in the day. Uh, we did pretty well with it today, guys. We beat uh, Hog, we beat Expo, we beat Hog Rider. We lost to Mega Knight, however, um, but that is just uh, unfortunate. Um, but overall, definitely happy with this deck so far. Anyways, guys, that is the end of the video. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe to more Clash World content. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We will see you in the next one.